So every cycling YouTuber aspires to have their own cycling, I don't know, workshop. And it's something that I've thought about and wanted for ages. We actually have a space I've always had in mind that I might try and use. So uh, I wanted to take the opportunity in this video to show you um, that workshop and talk a little bit about what I've got in mind. So let's uh, take a look. Ta-da! If you're looking at this and thinking it looks like a junk filled derelict building then you are probably not too far off the truth as you maybe can see that is a uh, guttering that runs inside the building that brings all of the water off a roof that's behind here and uh, kindly deposits it on the floor down there uh, so that's probably one of the first jobs that we'll need to get sorted. We'll have to move some of this stuff. These guys are gonna assist me in the uh, project today. Another job is trying to get rid of all of these boxes. A job lot of underfloor heating tiles that you use, I think, to redirect the pipework that goes underneath the floor. We never actually used them in the house renovation, so they've been sat here for the best part of six years. Now these big doors do open, which will allow for quite a lot, a lot of natural light. But right now, this pile of gravel just happens to be in the way of them. Also, from a security perspective, I think we might have to uh, solve the fact that there's a few massive holes at the end of this side of the building. And yes, that is uh, definitely asbestos cement sheeting, so uh, not really ideal. It's not exactly super watertight, it can rattle around on windy days. The purpose of trying to make this space somewhat usable is to get my gear out of the garage where it's just sort of in the way. If I can make use of this space, perhaps use it for learning how to maintain bikes properly, make some videos, maybe in time it could be that I knock it down and rebuild something a bit more uh, purpose built. But at least trying it out in the meantime we can see whether this thing works and whether i actually do make some more videos and do some more bike maintenance and enjoy using a workshop now all of these buildings behind me are ours as well and i do have a i don't know partial pipe dream for the future that this could become some sort of cycling hub in derbyshire i think quite a lot of time and effort is needed firstly to uh get them ship shape but also work out exactly how we would use them uh, for this sort of uh, cycling hub style project if you do have any ideas and uh, it's something that you'd be keen to see by all means let me know in the uh, comments below I'm sure these guys are enthusiastic about the prospect of this place being filled with a range of carbon and steel frame beauties. Now I did use one of these uh, buildings for an earlier video, so you might recognise it from there. It's quite a nice dry space that someone has driven probably a, some sort of tractor through the back end of. This is the barn, maybe we could hold uh, barn dances or, or maybe a launch event for a niche UK bike producer. Here come the girls. The reason why I'm out here today is that I've got my builder friend coming round. He's the chap that helped. He didn't help. He, he rebuilt our house. Anyway, he's coming round today to help me try and clean up this yard, empty out our workshop, and uh, really just try and get a view on what's feasible to do in order to make it a workable space. So I'll uh, aim to clear that out and then uh, give you a look at what we've got to work with.
Now, if you're wondering what type of wood this is, it is the larch. Number one, the larch. <laughs> the larch. <laughs> Too bad progress. I've managed to move the timber that was at the end of there, which I think is really where I'm going to uh, set up the uh, bike workshop area for the time being. I've just started to remove some of this junk. There was all sorts of uh, gravel preventing these doors from being opened, and as we can see, at least one of them now opens. In fact, they all three of them open. This is. Uh, majesty of uh, Monty's bike workshop and here's the rest of the yard in all of its glory beautiful now I think it's fairly safe to say that the lighting in here isn't ideal um, this room in here which I'll aim to make a lot more secure is uh, pretty dark as things stand Last weekend I sort of brought in this uh, sight lighting and hang and hung it from the, uh, the frame above and actually it does bring in quite a lot of light. This thing here is a somewhat aged uh, what wood burner given how rusting it is, one questions whether or not it will successfully deposit the smoke outside. It's got this pretty cool racking all across the back wall, which I'd like to make use of. <laughs> rest of the afternoon is going to be spent with me trying to clear out the rest of this junk and generally get it swept out and hopefully set up maybe a few tools, maybe the uh, old Black & Decker workbench just to look as if I've got something set up from a workshop perspective. the end of day one we've made a reasonable start on things, got rid of all of the timber that was in here which was over there which is where I'm going to set up the workbench and the work stand for the bikes. Tomorrow I think I'm going to keep trying to clear this place out and uh, I'll show you how I get on. Mm -hmm. 